Good afternoon to everyone. Savita Engineering College established in the year 2001 an autonomous institution which follows the Finland-based education model and we march towards less is more concept. A college institution job ready which follows the Finland-based education door radical and we march in part the directors and job skills. The project-based learning integrated with the subject improves the student's skill set and make our learners to be the best, which is the motto of our college. The motto of our club. Innovation Club aims to invent many eminent scientists who would share their experience with the students and motivate them to get the scientific knowledge. The club will bring out an efficient and dynamic engineering professional by providing all sorts of technical assistance and support and service for developing new concepts and products and thereby ensuring that innovation is part of quality education. Objective of our club is to create awareness, educate and inculcate the culture of innovation among us the engineering students. To enable them to generate new ideas and become more innovative and to organize interdisciplinary project exhibitions. The scope of our club is to resolve life challenges with the innovative solution to understand the future need of industries, to develop the breakthrough innovators and dynamic thinkers, to develop the creative thought leaders, to achieve the innovation driven growth and market leadership, to use the creative thinking tool to develop the out of box ideas, to develop the innovation as the discipline patriotic process. The future depends on what we do in present with the score in this warm afternoon to refresh and create an impact onto the minds, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Savita Engineering College, Innovation Club brings you to an webinar on Innovation in India by Dr. Doreen Robin, the Director at Computational Intelligence Research Foundation. Now I would like to introduce our guest of the day. Dr. Doreen Robin is the Director at Computational Intelligence Research Foundation, Chennai. She received her B.Tech in Information Technology from Madras University, Chennai, and M.E. in Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University, and Ph.D. in Computer Science Engineering from Anna University. Her research interest includes parallel and distributed computing, peer-to-peer -peer computing, grid computing, cloud computing, and big data analysis. Previous position includes a professor at Loyola ICAM College of Engineering and Technology in Department of Information Technology, assistant professor at Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Stephen Teshwara College of Engineering, Chennai, and teaching research associate at the Department of Computer Science and Nanocity, Chennai. She has published about 30 papers in international as well as ja uh, national journals and conferences. She is a life member of ISE. She is a reviewer for computer and electrical engineering journals and future generation computer science journals. We are very happy to have you with us, ma'am. You may please take over the session now. Thank you so much, uh, Kamala Priya, ma'am. Uh, for the warm invitation and welcome at us. A very special yeah, thankful thank note uh, to Dr. Indra Madhi ma'am for having invited me uh, to give a talk. A very, very special uh, thankful note to the entire management of Savida Engineering College, especially the Innovation Club and IACE, all right, on this National Science Day celebration. I deem it a pleasure and honor to join hands with you in celebrating National Science Day and delivering the talk on innovations in India. All right, the entire management would like to thank you. All right, a very special thankful note to the students. All right, and this is a post-lunch session and hope you are all happy. Yes? Okay, how are you all today? Can I have the answers on chat, please? How are you all today? Quick, 
you can give a single word answer that also is fine it's a very very simple question how are you today good thank you anish fine ma'am thank you kamala priya ma'am good great madushri nice ma'am very well and good thank you shani what about others we have plentiful people here i wish everybody very good good ma'am anisha vikran all right nandini yes you are all good you are all best in your own places and it's the greatest privilege that god has given to us to say that we are all fine all right and for today's session we are going to see about innovations in india all right and you are all brilliant innovators every day we innovate something or the other all right and at the end of the session we are going to play a live quiz listen to the talk carefully and let's see who will be the winner for the day and before i move on to the session can i have from which year and uh, which year you belong to and the department on the chat the department or the year or yeah that you are learning right now i know you are all in the even semesters if you are in the second first year okay which department third year ec okay thank you yeah third year ec thank you chemical ec second year ec all right others okay mostly we have got students from ec department electronics and communication engineering ai and ml thank you thank you ganesh shake around the first year well done anisha third year ece all right just to get a blended the information what a first year ai and ml ai and ts data science very well yes all right and as we get students in we will be seeing i want to do it right so for today's session we are going to see about the different innovations in india maybe some of the innovations you are aware of for some you aren't aware of all right and uh, once again i would like to thank the entire management the principal the deans the professors the head of the department of various departments of savita engineering college all right and uh, we move on into a session before we are going into the session we are going to play a quick game okay the game listen carefully students you need to uh read the word not the color of the word i repeat you should read the word not the color of the word we'll be giving in a picture of different words but the words will be typed in say for example the word is typed as blue but the color given to that blue may be green you should not read green rather you should read it as blue you have got horizontally you have got several lines once you come to the last word and again you have to move from last to first so you need to read from first to the last again from last to the first all right you will be given 30 seconds listen carefully don't read the color that has been typed you need to read the word not the color of the word all right the word okay. yes you'll be given 30 seconds shall we start off with at the end of it i'll give options for one or two to share your experience can we go yes yes no yes okay not the color but you should read the word not the color okay very well let's start now all right here we go yeah don't read the color but you need to read the word Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, the time is over. How many of you are able to read? You should have not read uh, as green, yellow, blue, orange, black, red. Not the word, but the color of the word. Not the word, but the color of the word. If it is yellow, you should have read it as green, red, or not orange, blue, yellow. Can we try once again? Not the word, but the color of the word. Not the word, but the color of the word. Yeah. How many of you are able to complete it? How many of you are able to complete it? Yes. Lutish, Mahi, you are all able to complete it. So first I told read the word. Then I said read the color of the word. Which one you found it easy? Which one you found it easy? Reading the word. But what did you experience when I changed it to ask you to read the color but not the word that is typed? What was little? It was so confusing, ma'am. Ah, it was little confusing because our mind goes to read the word. But I told first time, read the word. Second time I told. That was pretty easy, right? What it is the next time when I told, uh, read the color but not the word. All right. So a small change. It's the same thing. So innovation, when you come into the 21st century themes, right? The key subjects, right? That we are going to learn. Learning and innovation skills are more important. All right. Learning and innovation. Being a first year student, I'm happy to see some of you have taken AI, ML, AI, DS, EC, whatever is the subject that you're going to learn. What is more important in your learning and innovation skills? All right. Is, see, if I tell you about information, media and technology skills, I know you are all very well. You are all very well done. Right? There is no options because you all know about technology more than what your elders or the faculties know. All right. But how do you learn? What is the difference between learning and studying? Can one of you say what is the difference between learning and studying? Yes, no. Okay. Learning and studying. All right. How many of you know to drive a cycle? How many of you, you know to drive cycle? Yes, some of you are raising hands. Uh, when did you learn? When did you learn driving a cycle? When did you learn driving a cycle? What would be the age? You can give your answers on chat. Yes, please. LKG, yes, Kamala Priya. LKG, 10 years old. If I give you a cycle now, will you be able to drive the cycle? You can also feel unmute and also you can speak. If I give you a cycle now, you'll be able to drive. Yes, you are all saying yes. You learned something, right? You studied maybe in a sixth standard or seventh standard, some detailed question on history or some subject. If I ask you to write what you have studied in your eighth standard or ninth standard or sixth standard, will you be able to write the exam? If I give you a six yeah. standard, no. What is the difference? Cycle, you learn how to drive. Subjects, you study. Can you find the difference between learning and studying? You learn to drive LKG, even though I don't know what's your age, maybe 15. All right, or 16 or 17, whatever is your age. But still, you're able to drive the cycle because you learned. That's the difference between learning and studying. When you study, you forget things. Right? But 21st century, right? The subject themes, right? The key subjects for uh, profession growth, even for academics, for skill development, learning and innovation skills. 4C, you should have a critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and creativity. 
these four things are important now tell me which one is important whether you need to learn your subjects or need to study your subjects learn well said thank you congratulations so when you come we are in the 21st century skills how today's students you are all today's students how can you stick up how do you do you agree with me every year the competition level is increasing or decreasing every year is the competition level for students is it increasing or decreasing it's increasing so these four c's are very very important my dear students on this innovation on different if you want to be an innovator or you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to be a employer whatever it is whatever the streams that you're going to take in your life you're in some of your first year some of your in second year some of your in third year all right so the critical thinking Okay, I've got, uh, I've shared a lot of uh, uh, real time stories or some stories to teach students about critical thinking. We are not going to speak about that. If you're free, you can visit my channel, Dr. Doreen Robin. All right. And creativity, how creativity, how creative you are. If the faculty is giving an assignment, how creatively are you giving? How are you able to collaborate? Are you very selfish in doing works? Or you're able to collaborate how do you communicate literary information you have a lot of information how are going to use it the medias okay i'm going to ask you next one question my dear students as you got up from your bed today what was something that you started your day with what is the first application you used maybe in your computer or mobile instagram instagram okay so so quick you are on media before which okay before few years before what what gonna shake it i can't get you you can put your answers on chat okay before we need to wait for whatsapp the... whatsapp okay whatsapp insta facebook spotify so much and so more even i'm also into all the things but how are we going to emphasize that how are you going to make it use of them okay so that skills that skill is more important technology you know what is happening between russia and ukraine how many of you are seeing the news of russia ukraine what is happening between russia and ukraine now hello anybody sees war thank you kamala priya see we i can able to see the live happening over there war is going on today in india we are all safe all right so being the news the technology transmits flexibility leadership initiative productivity and social skills these are so much important on for today's students on 21st century so coming into ipr okay how many of you know about ipr intellectual property rights have you heard about it yes or no if you have heard about or you know little about ipr type yes or you don't know you can type it as no Feel free. Yes, please. Answers on chat. Okay. No, no. Okay. So, what does when you speak about innovations, you mandatorily need to know about IPR. I'm going to speak to you about IPR in very straight and simple language. Yamadu Shri knows it. It refers to the creation of mind, such as inventions, literary and artistic work, design and symbols. Okay. If you see an Apple phone, what comes to your mind? How do you find the phone is an Apple phone or not? What what drives your eye directly to it? It's the design. It's the logo there. Okay. So it is so intellectual property rights or creation of your own mind, where you can have your ownership. Yeah. Okay, it means the providing property rights through patents, copyrights, and trademarks. You have the right to use because you have drawn a new drawing. You can have your IPO for it. You write your new poem or kavitha You can write it for it. All right. So holders of intellectual property right have the monopoly on the usage of the property or items for a specific period of time. Okay. 
So what it is important, the importance of IPR was recognized by Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property in 1883 and Bern Convention for the Protection of Literary and Artistic Work in 1886. Okay, what is the need? You should ask, what is the need of IPR? All right, what is the need of IPR? You can think it encourages innovations. It encourages innovation. If you want to become, we are going to see about innovations in India. Don't just be heroes of innovation. Be an innovator. Be an innovator. All right. Yes. And it economic growth, economic growth of India gets increased. The safeguard for the right. I did something and I have it. You have the royalty of it. Ensures the ease of doing business. And it facilitates the transfer of technology for others. All right. So when you see IPR, the intellectual property right, basically they are divided into two. One is a copyright and other is industrial property. When you see copyright, uh, you write something and you have, a, you have the right for your invent, innovations. When you come into the industrial property, you've got distinct signs. Okay, I told you about the Apple logo, trademarks. And the second is geographical indications. What is Madurai known for? Madurai is the product. And the product is Madurai. What it is? And they say about Madurai. Yeah, Jasmine. Madurai Malli, they say. Rajapalayam. What do they say, Rajapalayam? You can also, students, you can feel free to unmute your mics and also speak. Rajapalayam. You have heard about this brand, is a Rajapalayam dog? Yes? Okay. What is famous for Tirnal Veli? Tirnal Veli? Alva. Alva. Yeah. See, these are geographical indication. These are some geographic. See, we didn't tell anything, right? Madhuramalli, we say. Yes, Rajapalayam dog, we say. We say Tirnal Veli Alva, so many things. These are the things that comes under your distinct signs. Trademarks and distinct signs. Right? Uh, in distinct signs, you have got two things. We'll see about trademarks and geographical indicators. Able to understand about what is geographical indication. When you come into the industrial property, you go into patterns. Anything you find something new and it is functional, then it is can be you can register that as a pattern the industrial design and also the trade secrets some companies they do not share the secrets right so those things comes under trade secrets if you know about coca-cola what is the formula they have done for coca-cola for example patterns uh, what is the kind of phone that you have used or, or, or what is the kind of phone that you are using the mobile phones quick 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 we have got very less time Android, some say Android, some of you are, I'm going to ask you one thing. The swipe feature, the swipe, right? How do you swipe, right? The swipe feature of Android is different from iPhone, iOS. Is it the same or different? Quick. The swipe features of an Android phone and iOS phone, is it the same or is it different? Yes, no? It's different. Thank you. Thank you so much. Which means the swipe feature of iPhone is taken to be a pattern who invented first. Able to understand? So when you come into the intellectual property right, these are the right given to the person over the creation of mind. How, they, how are they created? They usually give the creator the exclusive right so that they can use it for a particular Time. They could use it for a particular time. All right. So, what is the vision of our national IPR policy? Okay. If we are all Indians, right? What is our national IPR? And India, where intellect and India, where intellectual property stimulates creativity and innovation for the benefit of all. Two words are very important, my dear students: creativity and innovation. Not only to do something of creativity or something to innovate only for your own benefit, but it should be the benefit of all. 
think you are the future citizens think of some new product that could ease the older people or young people or people who have got disabilities innovate something okay innovate something i'm going to speak about some of innovators from india all right so ipr you are all into higher education institution universities and public uh, research institutions like savita engineering college you are direct contributors towards innovation in particular do a lot of research okay and this has been widely recognized and by in may 2016 it has been approved by the union cabinet as the first ipr policy that where it could be used in higher education institution like you students studying in savita college okay because you are direct what is the primary focus of this ipr policy two things i told remember the two words what are the two words from our vision of ipr what are the two words i said that's very really important can i have the answers on chat please creativity and innovation so the primary focus of this ipr policy is also to promote innovation and creativity especially among entrepreneurs and in higher education so my focus is today is on higher education institution because you are all into the higher education institution right now all right and it's a place where both basic ideas leads to researches and converted them to inventions so you've got some ideas and you can formulate the ideas and make it to be a invention ipr gives a way to inventors to protect their inv inventions from others and spread the idea worldwide so once you copyright it once you have a trademark once you have a patent all right once you have a copyright then you can transfer it to others with your ownership ipr helps in eventually converting an inventor's idea into a new startup you can have some idea some of the gadgets you use something or something or gaming or something you could think can i have something more different can i have more innovative can some creativity be added into it okay you have an idea you have got very good faculties in savita college interact with them research with them innovate do an invention then quickly register it for ipr i know you have got iic the innovation club is conducting it right iic okay i could see this is uh, this is where uh, we have like iic institution innovation council okay universities or colleges okay you can see which college in tamil nadu okay so your college will be there okay and when you check it out what this what are they trying to do with all right so what is about innovation and then you have to register it okay so india's um ipindia.gov.in make a note of it i'll put the link on the chat you can make a note of it ipindia.gov.in all right so here i told you about patterns i told you about design see the design of bmw is different from uh, mercedes benz maruti is different from hyundai yes volkswagen is different from volvo right all these designs have been registered here okay the trademarks i told you about geographic indication remember tirunelveli alva you remember madurai malli yes and these are the things right and the copyrights the copyright office all right when you want to register for a patent it should be a functionally working one it should be and you can you have once you have got an idea you research the idea you invent something something new which is non existent then you register it according to which part of ipr it comes into it and then you can have a startup develop it and distribute it all right see only for patents in higher education institution can you see in 2018 in so many number of patents by iits from institutions from different colleges and universities anybody listening to the call talk have registered any patents yes no hello no you can able to do it yes 
you will be able to do it. You have got good faculty members who will be able to guide you through. Only thing, two factors you need, my dear students. Your creativity mind and an innovation skill. Okay, creativity and the pattern spy. Okay, I told you about IPR. What are the branches out of IPR? I told you about copyrights. You draw, you can have it. Your songs, even I don't remember. Uh, even there was a conflict for a cinema song um, between Ilaya Raja and uh, SBB sir. And then they came. So, uh, geographical indication, I hope you remember. Pattern, something that is functional which already you have, you add a property to it, all right? Trademarks and trade secrets and trade secrets. To understand these things very, very, very easily, the four types of intellectual property, right? To protect your own ideas, right? Your ideas are very unique. Though if you have got siblings, right? Two children born out from the same parents, do they look uh, same or they look different? Two children, if you have got siblings, do you look same or do you look different? No, you are different, right? Yes. So, same way, each of your ideas are different and you are uniquely created by your creator. So, trade secret protects the secret information like new inventions or Coca-Cola formulas or whatever it is. Trademarks, it protects the brands like apple for cell phones the logos copyright it works of your authorship it could be a book how many of you see the books and if you see onto one page you can see it has been cop copyrighted at this year by this so and so how many of you have seen onto the textbooks that you have been using yes no students have you seen it in any of the textbooks answer please answer quick yes Yes, thank you. And the pattern, something functional or ornamental feature. I told you, right? The swipe feature of iPhone, the swipe feature of iPhone could be taken. Whether you're able to understand what could be, what, and geographic indication, you know. By nature, you know, right? I told you what comes under geographic indication. So, trademarks, copyrights, trade secret, patterns, and geographic indication. Are you able to understand about these five words? Yes, only you type Y or no means type in. If these are the major branch words of IPR. Okay, thank you. All right. So in AICTE, AICTE, they provide something called as intellectual property talent search examination. Okay, this is of 2000. You can visit to this website. IPTSC, make a note of it, students. IPTSC.com. Okay. I'll put it on the chat also. So it'll be easy for you. IPTSC. Okay. So, how to register for it? The intellectual property right examination. One for individual, other for institution. You can also go in for an institution basis also. Okay, so what are the prizes? Okay, who are the champions? What are the regions that are considered to be into it? We have Tamil Nadu and South. What are the examinations? There is no negative mark, 60 questions, 60 points. Okay, and this is very, very useful. Okay, your journey to master IP, TSC. Okay, uh, so who are all eligible? Can you see undergraduate students? Technical or non-technical, and you belong to this team called engineering and technology students. Okay, engineer and researchers. Okay, and the next date will be announced. Make a note of it and keep watching over it. Okay, and uh, even you could see the same thing on this AICT website. All right, I told you about IP India, right? GOB.in. So, what are the four branches we saw about patents, designs, trademark? Geographical indication and copyright registry. Copyright registry. So when you see where, where and all you can have it. Okay, where and all you will be able to have it. Right. First, uh, we have even in Chennai a few offices are available. See a pattern office is in Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, and Mumbai. The major one, the National Institute of Intellectual Property Management, is in Nagpur. 
the internet the trade design the design of cars or any products you want to register it's in kolkata the trademarks right mumbai delhi kolkata chennai ahmedabad gi you remember about gi geographic indication it's available in chennai this is about the ic ic chip registry that's in delhi and copyright is in delhi all right this is the offices of your general patent because before going into your innovation you need to know what comes under ipr and how you can claim the responsibility of it more important is your creative mind and innovation skills so national how many of you know about this misc national innovation and startup policy for students and faculties do you know about this it, in short they say it has misc do you know about it yes no answer quick students no okay this see you can have your startup i told right ipr has been introduced into the higher education institution right now so as and when you are studying in the college i could see some first year students some second year some third years right you could have your if you have made an idea see only college time is the time you have been pulled with so many researchers faculties professors of different departments in the same place if you go to work only your department only you will have but i tell you students this is one of the golden era in your lifetime golden period in your lifetime you study in savita college you may you may belong to ai ds department or ec but you can interact with mechanical ec staff triple e staff all the civil engineering I, and also during the introduction madhu priya said about interdisciplinary projects that's much 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 more important for students you have something idea that you want to put it to pass then research it collaborate with the faculties make the innovation register in an ipr and even before leaving college you can have your own startup how many of you want to become an entrepreneur or you want to become an employer if you want to become an entrepreneur or a type en if you want to become an employer you i want to go employed in some company you type em how many of you want to become an entrepreneur how many of you want to become an employer yes thank you karan thank you anish you all want to become an entrepreneur all right i'll share this link with you it gives you the entire startup policy of 2019 all right how in colleges you will be able to do it as and when i share it all you can save the things and also that is for the national in isp so how you can collaborate how you can have a startup how college can support you how the government and i mean we all belong to tamil nadu right in tamil nadu we have tamil nadu startup and innovation policy okay tansim t a n s i m tansim shall identify and empower private ip centers you can engage with startup networks co working spaces provide ipr guidance to Startups like patent information centers and info, IP facilitate facilitation centers, and this is what uh, I don't know whether it's, it's open or it's taking some time to open. It's a bigger file, not right? So this is about uh, Tamil Nadu policy, startup policy. Never you get this time in your life, so utilize it to the best. to have your own startup when you go out then you have to struggle a lot have your startups because the ipr has been integrated with the higher education institution it's the best time for you to do it it's the best time to for you to innovate things okay introduce entrepreneurs as a part of curriculum that is what your college has also got here academic credits who chose entrepreneur i was asking right three of you have given answer kamala priya anish and karan you can choose related activities in line with aict policy universities and colleges will encourage as when you start up with inter department inter institutional participation okay so how many policies they are giving for see internship and apprenticeship for students in technology for a minimum of 6 months okay you can work in the apprentice policy all right students may be allowed to take a maximum of 2 years internship brain to attach in an incubator after your third year 
on application if it is permitted by the college can promote r and d and collaborate even i was working for engineering college for a decade then i started this company carf here we collaborate with colleges with corporates and also we provide training hands on training as internship the students learn for a month and they stay with us for six months online offline develop projects they come with their own idea and they try to develop it they we motivate them to register for patents if it is really workable all right publications ownership is more more important okay so i hope you are able to understand about this this is about uh, tamil nadu startup policy so two things i've told nisp and here what is the difference between invent and discover can one of you say what is the difference between invention and discover invention and discovery yes please We are all speaking about innovation, right? What is invention and discovery? No? Okay. Discover somebody has found something. It is existing, but it is recently found. Okay. How was Kadagama found? Okay. It is, it, it is, it has been present, but it is brought into your eyes. Invention, somebody has developed something that has never happened before. That has never happened for the Chinese invented the first printing press hundred years ago. Before that, there was a no concept of printing press. So able to understand discovery is something it is already existing and you're trying to find it out. Invention, it has not been existing or which has not happened before. All right. Fire. And still it's a bigger question than invention or discovery. The wheels, great inventions. Like the papers. The papers steam engine it started invented in 1763 by james watt it brought into the industry revolution as a whole all right so we have first we have industry 1.0 mechanization industry 2.0 assembling okay mass production and assembling 3.0 computer automation now we are under industry 4.0 where we work with cyber physical system where we work with cyber physical systems right so before it was industrial revolution in 1800 and in 2.0 we come into industrial revolution mass productions three we came into the computers right the computer automations and four iot and cloud technology cloud technology and so you see i told you invention is something which has never happened before and how many of you work on analytics analytics is more and more important if you have got a huge data how are you going to do a descriptive analytics diagnostic analytics predictive analytics all comes then only you'll be able to understand about the new industry 5 4.0 right works with cyber physical system all right so now i'm going to share with you about uh, this is my company's website sarf.co.in okay G gave it you on the chat okay so before i click it on before i share it with you see see this is called analytics this is the google analytics that i've set it up so if i give from 21 to 20 seven for the past seven days how many people have visited i had 69 users and four of them are returning visitors to the website okay and i can see on the overview which country people are watching my website in india in us and china and turkey this is a new innovation which was not existing before when you click on real time overview okay if uh, it will give me like one person Okay, two people are seeing, like one from Pune and one from Vishagapatna who are currently into my website. Now, I want the students. We have got around 40 students here. Can you click on the link and I can show you how in real time it captures it. Can you click the link and keep traversing? You are into the home page and keep traversing to different. Can you see from uh, Chennai, there's one user. And keep traversing every microsecond. I'm not going to do anything, but I'll be see some of them into one is into the home. Now I can see six people right now. Before it was two, four people from Chennai, like seven, one from Hyderabad, 
and only in home and keep traversing to other pages of the website. I want the students just click the link and it'll be able to and it will open it up. Yes. Yeah, nine. And it as and when you open and when you traverse to different pages, I can see, which is not existing before. But this analytics gives me, I don't know how many people are seeing. I can get a report of all those. How many people are viewed before how many days how many months if you want also i'll be able to do it so when you come into the mathematics of industry for automation connection cloud computing iot this comes a big data and integrated systems these are more important okay when you come into the mathematics of 4.0 like when you come into the industry 4.0 how are you going to automate things okay how are you going to connect different things all right and these are more important Invention, formulation of new idea for products or process. That is what the new invention. Innovation, listen carefully, practical application of new invention into marketable products. Only if you stop with invention, no, we have to move into innovation. And invention is, you're just, innovation is invention multiplied by commercialization. Make a note of it. In innovation is you invent something and you commercialize it bring the product to the market then it will be useful to the market you remember a national ipr the benefits for all only if you keep inventing and keeping it it will not be of use whether you're able to understand the difference between invention and innovation yes no innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower you know about steve jobs he has got an innovator, inventor, but he commercialized it. Inventor and innovator may not be the same. Sometimes it's the same. All right? Sometimes it's the same. So you have an idea, theory, research, and science that you can do it. In invention, you have a design, engineer, prototype, and you have got a creativity. Innovation is invention multiplied by commercialization. You have the ideas. You need a commercialization, deliver it, and it should be acceptable by the people. It should be acceptable by the people. And broad benefit to society, market, and God. Able to understand? It should bring a bigger profit or bigger benefit to the society. Invention. The first feeling is an invention. It's an invention. But how the vehicles are formed? It's an innovation. World Wide Web is an invention. Facebook is an innovation. Able to understand students the difference between invention and innovation? Can I have the answers on chat? Quick. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. What does it's just a power of an idea? Your ideation process is more important. Necessary is the mother of invention. And they say Thomas Alva Edison is the father of invention. Okay, when you say necessity is the mother of invention, they say, How many of you know about Kapila? Do you know about Kapila? Kalam program for IP literary and awareness. Yes, no? Okay, it is to recognize, facilitate, and felicitate the intellectual property right, innovations, and best practices in higher education. Institute. What is your best practice in Savida? Right? To overcome the limitations of innovation, especially in our higher education institutions, a systematic holistic effort called as Kapila is proposed. Okay, it has been proposed, which will create awareness, the need of IP filing. That is what we have been seeing. The met that is some of huge things. I know we have good faculties in our college will be able to guide you through. Uh, involved in filing IP in India, okay, especially among students, faculties, and things. Okay, every year, October 15th. Okay, on the birth anniversary of, uh, of Kalam, Dr. ABJ Abdul Kalam is taken as National Innovation Day. Okay, it will establish protecting our new ideas, your research and innovation. Totally, how many people have registered as on February 44? It was, it's one year since 46,000. But now it should have been increased. You can make a note of this website, mic.gov.in slash kapila. Are you making a note of the links that I'm sharing it with you? Okay. 
and you can find what are the things that you can do into this program. I told you about NISP, right? It's a huge file of 40. And you can find what, what and all they allow for college students. Okay. Okay, how, how it could be implemented for students, especially in college. Okay, it's for students and faculties. How can we engage? You can see about it, okay? And I've shared the link with you and it will be very useful for you. How as a college or as a students and faculty start up application. And startup action plan should be formulated. Which in line with the current documents for innovations, importance of innovations, can you see? That is what even your college is conducting events like this today. All right, in, in institutional infrastructure, the students club, you have got an innovation club or innovation cell or whatever you call it up, okay? Nurturing innovation and startups, okay? You can have an incubation center, you can have a licensing of it, so much, and students who are under incubation, Pursue some entrepreneurial ventures while studying to address how to register their company. With you, you can start up your own company also. All right? Find it out. So, uh, inventor who is going to invent, he is called the father of invention. Entrepreneurs are called as father of innovation. You will understand inventors. You invent something. I told inventors and entrepreneurs are all, not always the same. Very rarely they are the same. Okay, inventor is the father of invention and when you take entrepreneurs, they are father of innovation. Who is this? Any guesses who is this? Students post lunch, you are awake. Yes, please. Hello. Thomas. Ah, who said? Thank you. Right, Chair Madhushri, you are right. It's Thomas Alva Edison. He is one of very rare person who is both an inventor and also an innovator. He's both an inventor and also an innovator. He has invented so many things in his life. And also he had he has become an entrepreneur also. He was an entrepreneur. Some, if you take uh, Steve Jobs, he is an entrepreneur, not an inventor. There is a person who does the innovation. All right. So he is one such example where he is becoming an inventor and an entrepreneur. So you need to research, invent, assess, API, market it, license it, commercialize it. This is the innovation cycle. You research, you invention disclosure. And then you do an assessment, you register it, you market it onto the product, you license for it. You see any software you buy, it's a license software, then you commercialize it and you get your revenue generation. So innovation is equal to invention multiplied by commercialization. Okay. Innovation is equal to invention. You do only if you do your invention and stop it, it will not be benefit for all. It should be commercialized, a new product, a new method. All right. So once I got an opportunity to visit AMTS, okay, Andhra Medical Tech Zone. Anybody knows about this AMTS? Yes. Okay. No, no ma'am. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. As when you're students, you can take up a lot of competitions comes into it, and you 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 can connect with them, right? You can connect with them. AMTS, okay. I can share their website to you. Yeah. See, AMTAZ, this is what, here they've got a bigger park. That's, I've seen students also, when you've got a new idea they and you are able to get it to an invention, they support you with a lot of researchers, validating and licensing, measuring it, evaluating, and they commercialize it also for you. Okay? And... Uh, this is what is uh, Andhra Medical 
tech zone okay andhra medical tech zone emtz dot and uh, i when you see about the medi valley here they keep posting any kind of events that they come or any competitions if you could submit it and you if you are short selected they give you space also over there to pro bring your product see there's an next gen medical innovation channel a uh, challenge is there okay keep seeing to it keep seeing to it when what would be the, now it is like women healthcare startups okay and now the dates are over but you can see to it okay that is where i went and saw about this product okay people when they have got throat cancer they lose their voice and they need to we have a huge volume or they need to invest a lot to find it out to find the replacement of the throat the voice box is gone so a doctor he has developed a small device of just one dollar which is which could be easy for everyone to use it okay three thousand pay thirty thousand patients okay. And this doctor has replaced a thousand dollar with just one dollar A A U M voice box. This is a new innovation. This is a new innovation, right? And so many things. If you've got devices and oxygen was more demanding, right? During the pandemic time, and they've got oxygen concentrators, they develop it, they come with an idea, and they also distribute. So, what are new technology trends that you need to develop yourself? All right. To be uh, innovative, AI, machine learning, robotic process automation, edge computing, quantum computing, virtual reality, blockchain, and other things. When you see in 5G technology, IoT, and when you see even these, when you see the manufacturing of uh, uh, products like car, right? Everything is automized. Even a micro crack, which is not visible there, an image processing works. And uh, see. And how huge uh, they take, or uh, like Open CV or object recognition softwares to find it out how products have got defects in hotels, right? A, a robot comes and delivers the product what has been requested by the customer in the hotel rooms. How many of see how, how how many of you have seen the smart grinder? Okay. See, when you ask your parents, I don't know how many of you help your parents, uh, grinding the floor for idli dosa, or that's the most difficult one because, you know, to keep it and clean it. Like a person from Coimbatore, two, I told, right, the IPR, it should be benefit of, or you can just see to this, this is called Comfort Plus with Grinder, all right? And um, you can just allot it without even keeping hands to clean, right? It automatically cleans. Okay, it has got it. Has, they have got a knob. Okay, that is called the dispatch wall. Once uh, it is clean, you put the rice and then the wood dal and the traditional uh, grinding technology. And you need not keep hands at all. It itself evacuates all the flows automatically. Then cleaning also just pour water and then it automatically cleans. So, which eases your work. So, this is a smart grinder. They've invented it and it is commercialized it and it is very well done in the market. This is a simple example of invention. Okay. So, innovation. Not in, it's invented and innovation is invention multiplied by commercialization. And this is about express invention. Okay. he This this person is from Chattigarh. His father, when he was in Bihil, Bihil and uh, in Chhattisgarh, his father was doing a printing, okay, printing. And he was not having a good job. He wanted to do engineering because of a, a lack of money he was not able to do. He converted the slow food printer into smart screening. And he has got US patent for this. 
and now you have got five patents. He didn't complete engineering because he didn't have sufficient amount. He was not able to, and his father has lost this job because of changing from one place to another, and he had this problem, and then he had innovated this called Motec India. Treadmill press. It is about twenty five thousand against one lakh twenty five thousand for a new offset. So what we have existing itself, he was able to change it. He was able to uh, change it. All right. See cost of Satish treadmill conversion against two thousand seven fifty US dollars. Okay, you can find about uh, Satish. Okay, and you'll be able to learn more about it. Okay, he's it's just an idea. He had just an idea on how to work on with it. He's he's Satish. Okay, Satish Dev. Okay, national. He got it. He 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 didn't have amount. He didn't have price to pay for his fees. Okay, he didn't have price to pay pay for his fees. He comes from a poor background, so he converted. The normal tradition press into a smart screen press, okay, screen printing press. So this is is an example of innovation, okay. The voice of Indian innovator. It's called Ajit Narayanan from. It's an electrical engineering student from IIT. Okay, he begins to started working with Vidya Sagar School and then he uh, developed this app, Avas app. Okay, you can make a note of it for people with. Speaking difficulty, their thoughts, their emotions, and idea how they could communicate with. How are hearing every voice? Okay, making every voice hear. It's picture-based communication learning app for. So it's it's a new innovation. It's a new innovation. He, he invented it and is commercializing it. All right, and there are many inventions as uh, and John Hopkins, right? AI. He has um, uh, made this first AR surgery. Okay, AR surgery using neurosurgeon. Okay, he is a neurosurgeon in the year uh, June 2020 to two years before. One spinal fusion they need to do it of a cancerous tumor of a patient was very old. He used the AR headsets and projected the CT scan onto the body, and then he was able to do it accurately. Okay, and he was able to do this. Is how the operation went on, and he was able to do it very very accurately with the help of AR headset. And the CT has been uh, imposed on the uh, because pricking on the spine, every single nerve is more important. Okay, and this is for a very old woman on June 2020. Okay, she had severe back pain and she was not after the end of the surgery. Okay, see you can see the AR being mounted. Headsets and then on second, there's a first ever surgery happened, and then after the surgery, she was able even able to lift heavy things. Okay. And when you see AI and robotics, both plays a vital role. Robot works within physical area, and AI works in a simulated world. Okay, for AI, the inputs are symbols and rules, but for robots, it is analog. Whatever you speak, also it will be able. You know about Siri, some of simple simple applications, right? And uh, it is used for general purpose, and they need special hardware when you work with robots. How many of you know about Sophia the robot? Anybody knows about Sophia the robot? Yes, no, Sophia. Hello, girls and boys. Kindly unmute and answer. Do you know about Sophia the robot? Yes, right. It's an innovation, and they're inventing, and she is being commercialized. She has got a citizenship also. All right, you can find it out. Okay, as we have not got so much of time, uh, you as some of you said, you know what? You you go into Hanson's Robotics website and try to learn how it has been developed, and you can also develop and invent and innovate another robots like that. So AI gives robot a computer vision, all right, to navigate sense accordingly. Robots learn from the task how they communicate with humans. So the John McCarthy was the one who termed the word artificial intelligence 1956. Only in 2022 we have got courses like AI DS and all right. AI and they both work together. They work. To, they are not the same. Robotics are different. AI are different. But once these two join together, artificial intelligence robot, they are so magnificent. I showed you some examples of how in car manufacturing how it has been used, how in hotels, right? So in in and also. In surgeries, it has been used. All right. So AI is a machine learning is a subset of it, and deep learning is a subset of it, right? 
So focus on skill development when you want to become innovators. When you want to become innovators, you must include hard skill as well as soft skill. And whatever you want, and also you can work on sustainable development goals. You will, okay? Um, you sustain development goals, and one of the goal and the ninth goal is industry innovation and infrastructure, wherein uh, we are promoters of SDG. And when you see the ninth goal, where uh, you can from transportation to irrigation for energy for IT, okay, technology is an integral part of the success of like increased resources and energy affair being students without technology and innovation industrialization will not will not happen okay it will not happen okay without industrialization development will not happen so students have got a wide spectrum where you can do something about it all right on innovation on it because you have got a good resource faculties with you and you will be able to do it all right and also and myself and my husband we are goodwill ambassadors for negli masala tamil nadu whenever we give a talk i register it here kindly reduce the usage of plastic because the environment is getting so much hazardous so i registered with it here i agree with you i hope that you will also take up in your mind kindly reduce the usage of plastic all right i hope the session would have been useful can we play a live quiz with you okay i will share a link to you onto the chat just click the link and give your name just click the link and give your name Give your name. I can see as and when you join. Yeah, I can see ten of them have joined. Yes, quick. We have started with IPRs. We started with what are the trademarks, copyrights, patents, all right, and trade secrets. Okay, and so many things we have seen. And uh, you can see on to my channel. There's more videos about it. Even this section session also. I'm streaming it on YouTube. On my channel, you can find it out. Okay, seventeen of you have joined. Let me start. Okay, and who's going to answer fast will get more points. All right, entrepreneurs are father of invention or innovation or none of the above. Yes. Well done. Eleven of you have given the right answer. Let me see who is the winner on the first round. Monisha, Mahesh, Judy, Rebecca. Mm hmm. And Monisha is the fastest, and she is on the first place. Let's move on to the second question for the day. Here we go. John Hopkins performed the first ever air surgeries in which I told you during the talk. Is it April or December or June? 2012, 19 or 20? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see how many of you have listened. The answer is June 2020. I repeated twice or thrice during the talk. Okay, I showed you, right, but they are uh, gadgets, they are doing the operation for a very old woman on the spinal cord with a CD scan, have been imposed on Page Shri and Kamala Priya and are in the first and second place and Guru is the fastest. Let's move on to the third question for the day. Innovation is equal to the search plus invention or invention into idea, or invention into commercialization. Well done, 10 of you have given the right answer, which means you have listened to the talk carefully. Yes, innovation is invention multiplied by commercialization. Whatever you need to invent, once you commercialize it, only it becomes an innovation. 
page shri is the fastest on the first place guru on the second and makesh kumar on the third place we move on to the fourth question for the day i got just five questions don't worry it's not too big or robotics and ai the same thing i showed you in a diagram robotics and ai is it same or different you've seen in tabular column also mhm mm 19 of you 22 of you 23 of you have answered let's see no they are in the same thank you they are different ai works with the computer simulated world robotics work with the physical world but once both are integrated the artificial intelligence robot they they play a vital role so who's on the first place now tejesh shri is on the first guru is the first and third place it's varsha the last question who's going to define who will be the winner of the day and you'll be giving a chance to share your experience we'll go for the fifth question the final question of the day the combination of artificial intelligence and automation is called as robotics and automation or intelligent robotic product automation or intelligent robotic process automation intelligent robotic process automation let's see who's the winner intelligent robotic process automation rashan tejeshri you are the winner of the day congratulations tejeshri guru varsha and how was your session today you can share it on that you learned something new okay so we have so can you give can you give more questions yeah we could give but as the time is less we have this taken five multiple choice question for this quiz session so hope you enjoyed uh, the winner would you like to, uh, would you like to share your experience stage shri hello yes ma'am ah, i yes please good afternoon ma'am the session was very useful ma'am uh we could differentiate uh, between invention and uh, innovation and discovery also and we got to know about many more things and how to go in a good path i mean a correct path we got an idea about that and thank you for the session ma'am welcome thank you thank you so much and uh, you can i will also share my contact details you can contact me on right and this Let me lady become full, and uh, and I've shared the session YouTube link. You can subscribe to my channel whenever I come online. I share all my content onto the channel, so it will be useful. Many things about innovation, IPR, how to register, how to search for patents, are being uh, shared in my YouTube link. If you find time, kindly go through it. Since we don't have much time. With the specific time, what we can spoke or discuss about how you can invent. My focus is on once you invent, how can you be registered? It. What are the things that is needed, and what are the some of the new innovations that is done? There are multiple innovations, right? And maybe maybe in another session we'll again join together to discuss more of it. Over to the organizers. Thank you. Thank you for the session, ma'am. welcome really it's a very nice session and uh, you interacted well with the students thank you ma'am so kamal priya you give the good thanks and uh, um yes ma'am thank you so much ma'am that was really informative session and we convey our heartfelt thanks to you for sharing your valuable knowledge with us thank you so much ma'am so we have come to the closing of the session now we thank all the participants and our chief guests for uh, joining with us today 
and hope you all would have got a lot of information in this session and most of the questions have been answered by our speaker. So you will be receiving our upcoming uh, um, workshops and uh, session details and I request everyone to attend this and you will be receiving the details in the group. I kindly request the participants to fill the feedback form with the correct mail ID so that uh, you will be receiving your e certificate. Thank you all for participation. Stay home, stay safe. If you could open up your cameras, can we take a group picture? No, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Please switch on your camera. Can I switch on your cameras so that we can take a picture? <laughs> Students? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Kamala Priya. What about others? Yeah, thank you, Monisha. These are some memories, right? That you can keep it. I'll share it with Indu, ma'am. Switch on cameras, please. Yeah, thank you, Judy. Okay, let's take. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Look onto your camera, smile. Madhushri, switch on camera, please. Thank you, Makesh. Yeah, thank you, have taken it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. So I request all the participants to stay in the meet. So uh, I will be sharing the feedback from the soon.